Hello everybody, this is NCS and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire Stone Reign of Blood. Last time, we've gotten the last of the mines that we could capture in this world. And today, we're going to do a bit of, well, for right now, treasure hunting. What we want to do is, we want to go to this part here of the world map, to this little soul mountain. And, uh, I don't want to go into the equipment, I want to untransform. Because up here is, well, it's called Snow Cliff in the, the internal memo. And uh, here we have a new kind of enemy, the Ice Dragon. Or Little Ice Dragon, actually. Oh, why, and I probably should uh, regain a little bit of blood while I'm at it. So, yeah, these guys here, uh, as you might expect from their name, they're resistant to ice, but they're also resistant to poison, light, shadow and death elemental attacks and they have a multi-targeting ice elemental attack so be careful of that because that can deal a lot of damage to you I hope I got them all bleeding because that would be really nice or just deal critical hits that works too as always but okay we're still good on HP Yeah, these enemies, if you run into three of them at a time, like I do, they might be a little dangerous, like, right there. But other than that, they should be uh, relatively easy to deal with. It's just that their multi-targeting ice elemental attack is a little strong. What you can do is, uh... Okay. You can equip, um... Uh, what's it, uh, the ice rings that we have? Actually, I think I will do that even. I mean, we have four of them. <laughs> so yeah, that will decrease the damage they, uh, those guys do with their Ice Elemental attack, but... Uh, it's not necessary. But it isn't bad, either. <laughs> this was the third time I've run into, th uh, yeah, into three little Ice Dragons at a time. What's wrong with the random number generator? Fifth time! Ah! There are so many random encounters to choose from, game. Use them! We haven't even seen the second kind of enemy yet. Ah, uh, but anyway, if we turn the night, or the day, the time of the day to night here, there we go, we can see a ghost, alright, and this one increases our... Bat transformation again, nice! So now we have 1 minute and 20 seconds. That's really great, actually. Anyway, let's head up here now. Or maybe not, because I forgot a treasure chest. Ooh, a single ice dragon for once. Anyway, here we get a vampire ring if you want one. Increases our healing rate by one. And here we have the second kind of enemy, the ice demon. Finally, took long enough. That guy here is weak to fire, so yeah, if you have some fire spells you want to use for the lane, do that. And it can cross bleeding, yeah. Uh, it is resistant to ice, poison, light, shadow, and death, and can also inflict the curse status, so be careful of that. Because we, I believe we don't have anything to cure the curse status yet, do we? I don't even think there is an item, do you? Yeah, there is no item to, uh, to cure the curse status, so, um, yeah, be careful. <laughs> If you are inflicted with the curse status, I believe you need to go to a church to cure it. It usually never happens to me, so... Or if it does happen, then uh, by that point... Uh, I usually have some way to cure it. Anyway, up here we have a red chest. If you try to open it, well, you need 180 intelligence. However, Walna only has 135. Oh, um, of course I meant only 155. Or if we equip the Asper Shield and the Mage Belt, 185. So yeah, that is why I told you to get the Asper Shield while you could and the Mage Belt, well, where we got that. Because now we have the almighty Vampire Sword, the best weapon for Walna. It has an attack modifier of 200. And causes the bleeding status, just like the Redux sword that Walna currently has. So yeah, now Walna is by far the best.
best physical attacker that we have. And yeah, let's uh, have Walla use the uh, Asper Shield because well, he has somehow better defense than Oscar. Yeah, than Oscar. And yeah, for I'll just leave the match ball equipped because oh no, wait, Ice Ring, right? There was something like uh, Ice Dragons that constantly spam their Ice Odom. <laughs> So, oh no, wait, uh, before we go down, there is one more thing. Well, technically two more things. First, we want to change the time to night again. Because over here is another ghost. And this ghost here will give us a permanent vampire ring. Basically, yeah, so now our healing rate is... Increased by one, and in here we have a Vampire Stone, always nice as well. Gonna seal up real quick. And yeah, this is all that is in uh, this place here. So, I'll get out of here off screen, and well, I'll meet you back outside. How fitting that my last battle in this place there would be against three little ice dragons. Ah, they really seem to love me. Anyway. Now that we have a new weapon for Walna, the, his best weapon in fact, let's go into another town. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been in one of those uh, in a while, so I thought, yeah, let's do that. I mean, we've been in quite a lot of dungeons recently, so yeah. Anyway, if we go into, well this place here is called s -Reed. and if we go into this first house here, we can talk to this blonde girl here, and why should we take... What? Wait, why should we take your mama away from you? Okay. Well, why should she do that? Here, if you say uh, that your mom doesn't love her anymore, I think I don't need to say that. That will obviously decrease your uh, humanity. <laughs> and if you say that her mom loves her, then, well, you gain one humanity. Almost wanted to say experience there. You get one experience! Yay? <laughs> Aww, so cute. Da Asuka! Uh, really life, uh, loves to ruin those moments, doesn't he? Anyway, in there, we got a steel helmet. We may sell that later. Anything in those? No? Okay. No, well, we just wanted to uh, look through your houses and uh, steal a little bit from you, but other than that... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about B, already did that. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you can transform the little girl into an anti serum and her mom into an elixir. And this guy here you can transform into a vampire stim. Here we have the potion shop. Uh, anything I miss in my notes, it does not seem like it. Oh! Okay, uh, we have a potion here. Okay, I kind of missed that though. <laughs> and, you, well, this is just a normal potion shop, so we've got a couple of things here. But usually because I never can remember where potion shops are, I just go to uh, Klena anyway, so yeah. <laughs> and go to Dr. Yarn. Uh, you can transform that uh, shop owner into five feeling dust. Well, I do like it cold. Way better than the desert. Well, yeah, I, well, I guess you're right with finding the best stuff on your adventures. I mean, that's what happened just now. <laughs> oh, hidden cave in the mountain south of Fesreek. That sounds interesting. Yeah, talk to that man to unlock that cave. At least I believe you need to talk to him. But usually if a person says something about a dungeon, you have to, to unlock it. And what do you have to say? Well, yeah, it is cold, but... Eh. Well, peaceful unless some vampires come in here and eradicate the whole town, but other than that, yeah. <laughs> um... Let's see. Did I really just get stuck on <laughs> on that cupboard there? Am I playing Twitch Place Pokemon or what? I'm still surprised they managed to beat the game. Seriously. 
And here we got an iron armor. Nice. We can sell that at least. And hello there, generic RPG maker sprite guy. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, you can transform this boy here into a right grass saber. Probably the one he's holding right now. Uh, the man over here into a healing bottle and the woman into a potion of eternity. If you're an evil vampire. Okay, let's walk down here and talk to this young woman. Well, it might be, although the climate change usually is about uh, everything getting warmer. Okay. I wonder what she bought for herself. Huh. Um. Yeah, if you want to, you can transform this woman here into an itching powder. Probably not the, the expensive thing she bought. Uh, let's see. There should be an iron, uh, an item, not an iron, somewhere around here. There we go, a steel shield. Pretty bad, but it's there. Um. Let's see, do we have any new... Yeah, we have some new weapons or armor, but I don't have the money for that. I would first need to... Or do we have new items here? Well, at least I haven't bought any of the uh, most expensive ones, yeah. I probably should go back to... Uh... Yeah, I don't even have silver bars. To the castle and uh, get some money. But anyway, you can transform this uh, left clerk here into a safe stone and the right one into 10 flame potions. Nice! Finally a human that's worth a lot! <laughs> and hello there, man with coat. Halo then, uh, people living in basically uh, an eternal ice continent? Whoa. We are Halo then. Uh, you can transform that guy into an iron helm. And here we have a pub. But where is the bartender? Oh. <laughs> well, apparently he's gone, huh? He left about two hours ago, Ooh. and just to get some fresh air and he still hasn't come back? That sounds serious. Hm. Well, I guess we're going to look for him. Alright. Let's see, I don't think there's anything in here that I could make use of, like items to steal. Eh. I'm not even in your room! You just left it! Oh, oh and another uh, book about shrines, but I don't think we really need that. I mean, we've already been to the six shrines. But yeah, if you're playing this on your own, well... You are not going to watch this LP, so I can't give you any hints, but... Oh, well, it's there. <laughs> um, that woman over here can be transformed into a blood file, and the woman downstairs, who you got the quest from, uh, you can transform into a brown stone. So if you want to go to the Earth Shrine uh, with a brown stone, you can transform her, but I would recommend only after you've actually done this quest here. And no thief in this town, it seems. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, uh... Run into another random encounter, okay. <laughs> Snowflies, they're pretty weak, I don't know. Ah, <gasps> uh, yeah. I don't know what they're strong or weak against. You'll probably see it in the annotation I put in there, and... Yeah, we could have fought them a long time ago. In fact, we might have even fought them. Like, at the beginning of the game. But, ah, I didn't want to... Ah! So... This is what I wanted to do, um, yeah, what the is going on here? Danger music! Oh, that seems to be, okay, not really danger music, but this seems to be the bartender. Um, yeah, did he just thank us for killing those snakes even though we haven't? Well, yeah, you can just save that bartender from the... Snow wipers who aren't doing anything and uh, leave this place, but eh, 
I think it's worth fighting them. So here we have a battle against the Snow Wiper. I'm definitely not going to feed on that thing just to make a plate with Walla because he's the strongest attacker. And they don't have that much blood to begin with, so yeah, I would recommend feeding on some other enemies to gain some blood. And um, yeah, Snow Wiper is not all that tough, but they're there. And another one! Yeah, the exact same battle as before, so... Really? No, oh, not give up life. There... This mission could have been done quite a while ago. But I only got to s now, so yeah. That's the reason why I'm doing it now. And not earlier. And obviously you need to accept the quest first before you can get to this dungeon here. Well, it's not even a dungeon. Um... I think that's all of the treasures you can get in here. Eh, even if it isn't, the treasures aren't that good at it anyway. <laughs> but if you go back and uh, get the reward for your mission, then you get some great stuff. Like a pair of crystal claws and 300 experience. Oh, well, okay. The crystal claws are pretty bad, aren't they? Yeah. Well, you can sell them, I guess. And what are you doing here, not behind the bar? I mean, you're a bartender, so go back to behind the bar and uh, we get a 1,500 for alarm. Nice! Yeah, nothing uh, is as valuable as your life, so give me all your money at this bar! I <laughs> know. Uh, but yeah, that's all I want to do for this episode. Next time, we'll do a little bit more dungeon exploring, and now that we actually have some uh, intelligence, we might go and try and open some more really valuable red treasure chests. This was NCS. And farewell for now.